welcome to CBG. Now then, this month we've got a bit of a triple treat for you. Now that's not triple as in three cylinders, that's in three bikes. We're going to start with this one. Pretty obvious, BSA Gold Scar. We've also got Venom Clubman and we've also got uh, a GB 500 TT, I think that's what they call them anyway, uh, 500 Honda, which we're going to give away as a competition prize, but more of that later. Let me talk you through this one first. It belongs to uh, one John Birchill. Now Birchill, to anybody who's a racing enthusiast, might recognise that name. The, uh, I think, let me, just let me check my notes. Yeah, Ben and Tom, Ben and Tom, John's sons, wheel sidecar champions. So they know the motorbikes. This one started life in 1957, went to Comerford's, uh, and they think, because it went left the factory on Castro R, it was probably raced. But for a bit of a mystery after that, because in 1961, it went to America, uh, where it got a new engine. So it's essentially a 57 frame with a 61 engine. But don't let that put you off because it's a cracking piece of kit. Standard kind of thing for your regular Clubman Gold Star. Dunlop alloy rims, 19 inch, original Dunlops, fantastic. 190 millimeter full width alloy brake. Arguably, well, the most sought after brake for the Goldie people, but arguably perhaps not the best one. The racing boys always go for the single sided one, but that's by the by. As you come back onto the engine, as you can see, usual fare, all alloy. 500cc engine. It's 85 by 88 stroke giving a 499 capacity. Compression ratio is around about 9 to 1 and it's uh, give or take a few around about the 40, 42 horsepower mark. You can see here the archetypal inch and a half Amal GP carburetor. Uh, essentially a smooth board. I don't know whether you can see down here. You can stick it down there. It goes whoa all the way open like that. Essentially it's a racing instrument. Come back here, back to my previous position. It's a racing instrument so it doesn't tick over. Uh, down here, you can see this one, Mr. Cameraman. The gearbox double R 2T. Now the double R represents ultra close ratio. The two means that, well the T stands for Torrington Roller Bearings no it doesn't, it stands for Torrington Needle Roller Bearings and the 2 means that the needle roller bearings are on the end of the lay shaft both ends of the lay shaft and on the sleeve gear as well so that makes close ratio racing gearbox gear pedal turned the wrong way around so there's a reverse cam plate in there to make sure that the gear, the gear change remains one up, three down usual archetypal twittering gold star silencer another Dunlop, uh, Dunlop rim on the back what, what more can we say uh, deep in the deep in the bowels of this one there's a Brian Shackleford big end so anybody that knows gold stars will have heard of Brian Shackleford uh, and, uh, and on the other side which we'll, we'll perhaps have a look at in a little minute or two um, there's a Bob Newby clutch and belt drive to smooth things off. Um, we're going to have a ride out on them this afternoon, well I'm not, we've got uh, young Bruce Wilson and, and group editor Steve Rose, they're going to have a ride out on later on, so you'll be able to listen to them on the, on the website just to see just how fantastic they sound. So we'll leave the goalie for now and we'll have a look at the next one. See you in a minute. Welcome back. Now then as you can see we've had a change. We've got the Clubman Venom. Just come round here. Now this one is, belongs to a fellow called Paul Charlton from Washington near Lincoln and he is only the second owner of this bike from New. Um, it's never been out of Lincoln in its life. It was originally purchased in 1958 from Sharps, the dealers in Lincoln at that time. It went, it went to a chap who didn't like the idea of a chrome plated tank so he specified the, the painted one, and so people come up, you know, these so-called specialists come up and say, oh, it should have a chrome-plated tank. 
well, yeah, it should have, but it was actually ordered with a black painted tank like that, so it's all original. He, he got it in 2004. He was tipped off by a regular uh, Velocet specialist around here, John Hannis, owner's club, Big Noise. Uh, tipped off that it was available. It was, it was, it was dismantled. Um, there'd, been a, there'd been an engine stood somewhere, actually stripped in the cases, that's all it was. Uh, but nevertheless, Paul bought it and he stripped it down and repaired it and went through it. And, and it's still, it's plus 20 thou overbore, but it's still on its original big end after 30, nearly 30,000 miles. Which is pretty impressive. Now, the bore and stroke on these velos uh, is dead square, 86 by 86, making a 499. Let me check that. Yeah, 499cc engine. Now, it weighs in, all in, wet at about 390 pounds. Uh, in comparison, the Goldie uh, weighs in at 384, so there's not much to choose between them. Now, now this is the Clubman model, and it's one of the very first Clubman models, 19, uh, what you might call the Mark I. And essentially, it's a hotted up Venom in that it's got a high compression ratio, and it's got the, the TT carburetor, which is uh, an, earlier, an earlier racing carb than the, than the GP we saw earlier on the Golden. So this one, this one also won't, it won't take over either. Um, <coughs> TT carb, Oh, there it is. We'll have a look at that. Just, just round the other side there. BTH Racing Magneto. Big fat sparks. The alloy rims, 19 inch as per the Gold Star. These are also original Dunlops uh, from 1958. They've not changed. But Paul has put on a later full width twin leading shoe Thruxton style brake because it's a little bit of a better anchor, better anchor than the, the original one. Uh, although these Clubman models have the nacelle, for the want of a better word, essentially the shroud here that you can see over, which the later models that looked a bit more like the Thruxton didn't have, this does have the optional extra of the rev counter, as you can see there. <coughs> they upgraded the, the, uh, they upgraded the uh, Clubman Venom to, to resemble more like the Thruxton in about 1966. But we're going to have a ride out on this one this afternoon, just to <laughs> well, that it can hold its own with the Gold Star. Now, one thing I've forgotten, the gearbox here, uh, it says on it 12-5034R. Well, that is what they call in Bellaset circles a Series 12R close ratio gearbox. And, if you see all this here, it's got the reverse cam plate in it as well, as per the Goldie. Essentially, it's the Velocet equivalent of the double RT Goldie racing gearbox. Uh, everything has the same fishtail standard, fish, fishtail silencer, all standard stuff for the year. Um, I can't think I can tell you much more about it, really. We'll, uh, we'll have a listen to it this afternoon. It does sound good, uh, and we'll get the opinion a bit later on of, uh, of the lads of Rowdy. Next, we'll have a look at the Honda. See you in a minute. Here we are again. Now then, as they used to say in Monty Python, now for something completely different. You'll have to forgive me for checking out a few notes here because I'm not ever so well up on these. But what I can tell you is, it is a GB500 TT Honda. 500cc, more or less. Now these were only made from 1985 and they were based on the XBR Honda uh, which in itself was based on, on Honda's dirt line. Um, as far as I'm aware, and I may be corrected on this, but I think the GBTTs were only available for the Japanese market so this is probably some form of import or other. Well it's obviously an import isn't it? Now, looking at my notes, Compared to the other two engines, the Goldie was a long stroke, the Velocet was square. This one is a short stroke, 92 over 75, giving 498cc. Pretty much power-wise the same as the Goldie and the, uh, and the Venom, in that this one chucks out about 44 horsepower, albeit at 7,000 revs. And the strange thing about them is the torque figure uh, is very, very high, it's some 6,000 revs. 31.8 foot pounds at 6,000 revs. That's quite a long way up the rev range. T 
typical in what we might call modern Japanese style, somewhere down in the bottom of the crankcase, there, there is a balancer shaft. So essentially, it doesn't check itself about like the Goldie and the, Van, the Venom do. But if you like your bikes raw, like I do, you might find this one just a little bit too clinical. In here, I suppose it's probably a Kayin or a McKilney, I'm not rightly sure, but what it is, is it's massive. It, let me tell you what the size of the carburetor. Just have a look. I wrote it down. Yes, yeah, 39 millimeter. That's an inch in 916. So that's bigger than the Goldie's GP carburetor. Now, then. compression ratio is about 9.2, 9.3 to one, something like that. And the, uh, as I say, about 44 horsepower kicking out. It's got an electric start somewhere up here, and also it's got a kickstarter here. Now the kickstarter. If you look at this thing here. That is an integral decompressor. So whereas we have to give it some of that with the Goldie and the Venom, this is built into the kickstart. I've not kicked it off myself, but I'm told it's pretty easy to start, which is always a good thing. Um, looking at the wheels, they're down a size compared to the two Brit bikes. They're uh, DID, 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 whatever you want to call them, alloy rims, 18 inch, very British looking forks, just admit, shined up nicely, and that disc, if I remember correctly and reminding myself, is 276 millimeters. so that's, uh, that's, that's 9 inch, 10 inch, that's getting on for 11 inches, it's a good sized disc, and there's a drum on the back, as you can see down here, uh, it's 5 speed, these reservoirs, I'm led to believe, are more for show than actual practicality, but the guys that run these will probably tell me something completely um, and what else can I tell you? <laughs> what I can tell you is, if you're interested, this could be yours because it's going to be offered up as a competition prize on the Classic Bike Club website. Or, or it's, it's in mechanics and it's in CBG and also as well. But if you look at on the Classic Bike Guide, Classic Bike, Classic Bikers Club website, you can enter to win it. It belonged to the father of one of our directors who has beautifully restored it, it runs like a dream and it will be all ready to go as and when you win it. Um, as you can imagine, it looks the part but it's very very quiet compared to those other two. Um, but it's a smashing piece of kit and for free, what more do you want? Let's have a listen to it later on this afternoon. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Now we're out on the open road and we've got John Birchall's DBD 34 Clubman here and today's challenge but let me introduce you let me introduce you to the pilot there he is hello one Bruce Hi, Wilson <laughs> former superbike rider and all-round good egg not ever so experienced with the classic uh, scene come into the frame a little bit more Bruce but he's had a go at starting this Gold Star earlier on today and he hasn't made a bad job so we're gonna just test him now all on his own no prompts, no nothing. Come on around here, Bruce. And we're going to get him to see how many times, how many, how many attempts it takes to fire up the archetypal road pig. Over to you, Bruce. Okay. Talk him through it. So, first thing I'm going to do is lift that peg out of the way. I've learnt that much so far. Step round here, and I'm going to cheat by starting it on the stand. Um, so I'm going to position the advanced retard just about level with this groove here. That seems to be the the, the magic what's happening from there. Sit on top. Find top dead sensor. Then use the little decompressor here just to go over it, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a go. One. <laughs> okay, so just a bit again, just over. Two. <laughs> Three.
Here we are with phase two. May I introduce you, group editor, Steve Rose. Afternoon. There we go. Now, Bruce Wilson. Hey, look here. Look, look, look. <laughs> Audience effect. <laughs> Audience effect. Bruce Wilson managed to start the Golf Star in four. Steve's challenge. Do it in less than four. Over to you, boss. <laughs> We'll get the job on, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winging this, by the way. <laughs> just, just over. Oh, oh, well, whoa, bad look. Whoa, bad look. <laughs> bad look. <laughs> Champion, <laughs> the gentleman, they have him please. Right, we've had two cracks at the Gold Star, and so far Mr. Rose is winning uh, three kicks against Bruce's four. We're now on Paul's Club and Venom, which is a completely different animal with regards to its starting technique. We're going to have Bruce again to have the first crack at it. So come on round, Bruce. Okay. Well, he's, uh, he's had the kind of basic tuition, but I still think this will be rather amusing. So uh, <laughs> over to you, comrade. Okay, so we're uh, oh, swinging leg over. Fans by quarter of an inch to about there. All the way down to the fine compression. Let it come back up. Pull the lever, decompress it all the way to the bottom. Then back up again and <laughs> Not like one. that. Alright, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's, so that's how you stop it. Right. You've got to do it in one, Steve. Live. Thingy. Thingy, thingy, thingy. <laughs> thingy. That's a thingy, right? That's a thingy back a little bit. Don't do it, Steve. We ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Need some help? Yeah. Bruce is the winner. I'm it's a draw, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. One all. Ladies and gentlemen, 15 minutes later. <laughs> 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 That's cheating, that one, isn't it? Not necessarily. Oh, you got that one. Hang <laughs> 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 on, Steve. Let, let us have a go. <laughs> Let's see if I can, need to see if I can stop. 
<laughs> Tried to cheat there. Oh, I think I definitely. I think we can say it's a draw. Yeah. <laughs> it's a draw for sure. Come on then, let's go and play on the open road. Back in a little while. Well, we're out on the open road now, as you can see. We've got John Birchill's DB. There's a car coming. Cool. That's a toilet. <laughs> That's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the call out for that? That's what they thought was your first take, Dobby. No shit. Was that on film, Matt? Did you get that? <laughs> well, we're out on the open road again, as you can see. We've got John Bur did he come back? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought he was coming back, but he's not now. Let's try it again. Third time looking. Outtakes. <coughs> yeah, bro. 500cc, more or less. I think we're going to be interrupted by a big lorry. Just hang on a minute. Oh, no, we're not. We'll maybe use that as an outtake. We'll see. Bruce is the winner. I'm it's win. a draw, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, one all. Oh yeah, that's